Can humanity survive with it, with, without a universal code of morality, which is true for all times and in all climates? Can an earnest man discover this way of life by his own research and goodwill? Can humanity survive without a universal code of morality, which is true to all times and all climates? Can, the, can an earnest man discover this, this way of life by his own reason and goodwill? Are you tired? What is universal morality? This is again a supposition, right? It says, can humanity survive without? Can you survive? Because you are humanity. You understand my question? You, oh God, must I go through all this? Aren't you like the rest of humanity? You may be short, dark, purple, white, pink or whatever pigment, colour of the pigment is. Aren't you like the rest of the world? You may have a different profession. You may have a dark hair, blonde, purple. You can dye it any colour you like. Aren't you like the rest of mankind? Because you suffer, you go through agonies, worries, live a very, very superficial life, occasionally jolted out of that by sorrow or fear. And your neighbour, whether it be very, very close or thousands of miles away, goes through the same thing in a different way. He quarrels with his wife, as you do. You yawn when something is serious being said. And they also they do the same. So you are similar. Or you are the rest of humanity. I know you, you won't believe all this, doesn't it? To you this is not a truth, because you are being conditioned to individualism. All your religions, your physical condition says that you are separate soul, separate human being, separate consciousness, that your brain is separate from any other brain. You have been conditioned to all that. And one cannot understand that you, as a human being, are like every other human being on earth, psychologically. They all go through, every human being goes through death, or knows death, or somebody has died in his family. And there is sorrow. This sorrow is common to all mankind. You may suffer suffer from disease and have sorrow, or another have sorrow through death, of another's death, or the sorrow of ignorance, or the sorrow of limited knowledge. 
We all go through this. There is not one single human being on earth who has not had this. Pain, full lack of fulfilment and its sorrow, the desire to fulfil, the desire to have roots in some place and not finding it, the desire the man who can never go in a nice car, the villager. There is sorrow under every stone and every human being. So you are not different from another human being. So you are not individuals. Yes, sir, swallow this. It's a hard pill to swallow. You won't like it. And so you are the rest of humanity. You are humanity. If you are immoral, if you are corrupt because you are of self-interest, you are adding to the misery of the rest of mankind. Don't agree with this, that this theory, but if you set about to see how deeply you can wipe, if the brain can wipe away its self-interest. Self-interest is one of the most deceiving things, because it can hide under everything in politics, in religion, in prayer, in puja, in rituals. You can hide in a family and so on. It is it's so cunning, so deceptive. And you can't trace all the ways of its hidden ways. Nobody can, because far too subtle. But if, but when there is the importance and the urgency to see the nature of the self and its interest, when there is a perception of which I was talking about, which is to see things as they are, psychologically, inwardly, not run away, not suppress, not transmute it, rationalize. When, th- when you observe the thing without any movement of thought, then that glimpse of the truth will wipe away all the self-interest. Sorrow is common for all, why can't the love is common for us? Gentlemen ask, if sorrow is common to all of us, why don't we have love, love, which is also common to all of us? We haven't got it. Do you love your wife? I'm not asking you personally. Do you love that tree? in India and elsewhere, they don't know what love is, so don't say it's common. You worship, you are devoted, you go to temples, you pay... There is a temple in Thirupati which is every third day a million dollars. Think of the brutality of it. And you won't mend the village dirt, take away. So we have no common love. We have no love in our heart. Face it. That's a good question to ask, but it has no meaning. You may be sympathetic, 
kind and even perhaps generous, which I question too, charitable, give something to another if you have more of it. If you have more money, give it to somebody, a little bit of it. You won't do that either. And you talk about love, my God, don't use that word, sir, you don't know it. It's the most sacred thing on earth, if you have 